Today's tutorial focuses on importing a portrait index file, also known as PSPA. To begin, select Manage Portraits, followed by Checkout. It's necessary to check out the yearbook before uploading the file, as this process affects the entire structure of the yearbook. When the book is checked out, it becomes inaccessible for editing by others until it is checked back in. It's advisable to perform this task early in the yearbook creation process or during periods when no one else is editing. Click the Import People button to initiate the process of uploading a PSPA file. Then click the Upload PSPA Index button to access the file selection dialog. Navigate to the directory containing your PSPA index file. Choose the index.ext or the equivalent file named provided by the photographer. Then click Open to begin the file upload. Once the PSPA file has finished loading, it's essential to examine the database details and meticulously check each column to confirm that the header accurately reflects the data beneath it. Memento Yearbook stands out from other yearbook software by utilizing the title field to specify the job titles of individuals, such as principal, teacher, or music teacher. Additionally, we offer a priority level to improve the organization of portraits, especially in scenarios where alphabetical sorting falls short in addressing more intricate situations. If there is a discrepancy in a column, you can quickly rectify the issue by selecting the problematic column and choosing the appropriate data type that matches the column's data, or you can opt to exclude it during the final loading process. Please note that the Cancel Import button can be used at any time to abort the import process. Upon completing the review, click Import People to complete the process of uploading the data into the yearbook. After the loading process is finished, and all portraits are displayed with a silhouette as indicated by the software, it's time to add the actual photographs. Select Import Photos. In the Import Photos section, you will notice a prominent Drop Photos Here button. You can drag and drop photos into this area or click on it to open a file dialog. Proceed by clicking on it and navigating to your Photos folder. Choose all the photos you wish to import and click Open. The import process will then begin. On the right side, you'll be able to view the photos that have been successfully uploaded, while on the left side, you'll see a list of all the photos pending upload, as per your portrait database. All photos have been successfully uploaded, though it appears some are missing, which we'll address later. Now, click on the back icon to return to the Manage Portraits page. All uploaded photos are now linked to their respective portraits. Exploring the Manage Portrait interface, at the top, you'll find the error area highlighted in red. This section displays critical issues requiring immediate action. For instance, it indicates that two people are missing a photo and one person lacks a first or last name. Below is the warning area highlighted in orange, which outlines potential issues depending on the situation. Here, we're noting that 18 people are missing a grade. These individuals could be staff members for whom a grade is not applicable. The responsibility falls to you to verify this. The same applies to priority. Its use is optional. Before we dive into filtering and searching for information, let's explore the portrait display area. The default setting is grid view. To quickly rename someone, simply click on their first or last name. Additionally, you can edit all attributes of a person by hovering your mouse over the desired portrait and clicking on Edit. Upon opening the dialog, you have the freedom to modify any attribute. Certain fields will present a drop-down menu populated with existing data to streamline the editing process, such as the Grade field. To view all attributes, select Show All Fields. This option reveals less prominent attributes that aren't displayed by default. After making the necessary changes, click on Update Person to save or cancel to discard them. To edit several portraits simultaneously, click on the checkbox next to the person's first name. Clicking it again will deselect the portrait. Go ahead and select a few. Once you've made your selections, you'll see the editing toolbar at the bottom of the portrait page become highlighted in blue, indicating available actions such as edit, delete, and assign role. The duplicate option will be disabled, as you can only duplicate one portrait at a time. When you select edit, the same dialog box appears, allowing you to apply identical settings across multiple portraits. This is particularly handy for assigning the same grade or teacher to several individuals. After closing the dialog, if you choose Delete, a confirmation dialog will appear, emphasizing that deletion is irreversible. Click Cancel to exit without making any changes. Finally, selecting Assign Role 
enables you to designate specific roles, such as teacher or assistant teacher, which will be highlighted with a special frame in your yearbook pages. To quickly deselect all portraits, simply click on the Select None button. If you wish to select all portraits at once, click on Select All. However, you might notice it indicates 100 out of 233, meaning only 100 portraits are currently displayed and selectable. As you scroll down, you'll find there are three pages of portraits. You have the option to adjust the number of portraits displayed per page by using the Page drop-down selector. Choose 300 to display all portraits on one page. After adjusting, return to the top, and you'll be able to select all 233 portraits with a single click. Click again to deselect them. Select Table View if you favor an Excel-like approach for viewing and editing your portraits. In Table View mode, you have the flexibility to display either a subset or all attributes by opting for Show All Fields. This view's primary benefit is the ability to edit any attribute directly, bypassing the need for the Edit Dialog attributes. Simply hover over any field you wish to change and click on it. For instance, let's edit the salutation for Elizabeth. Similar to Grid View, you can easily select portraits by clicking on the checkbox near the photo. You'll notice the bottom toolbar also turns blue, allowing you to edit multiple portraits at the same time. To deselect all portraits, simply click on Select None. Additionally, you have the option to prevent portraits from appearing in the yearbook by enabling the Excluded option. This feature is accessible in Table View, as demonstrated here, as well as in Grid View and the Edit Attribute dialog. Now, let's revert to Grid View. If you're looking to locate a person or a group of people swiftly, the Find People function is at your disposal. Enter a name, like Andrew, into the search field, and the portrait area will display all individuals with that name. In this scenario, there's just one Andrew. Alternatively, if you're searching for the principal but are unsure of the correct spelling, typing principal or teachers will bring up the relevant portraits. Remember that if you've previously applied different filters, the Find People search will only include individuals within the scope of those active filters. Let's revisit the section where the error is highlighted in red, indicating missing photos. Utilize the missing information filters to identify and rectify these discrepancies efficiently. To access the filters, select from the drop-down menu. For instance, to filter portraits lacking photos, choose this option. Remember, you can apply multiple filters simultaneously. After selecting your filters, click outside the drop-down to view the filtered results. We've identified two individuals without photos. To add a photo, click the silhouette icon, which opens the Upload Portrait Photo window. This process is identical to updating existing photos and can be performed in the table view by clicking on the portrait photo slot. Next, click on Upload Photo, which will prompt your file dialog to open. Select the desired photo for the individual and click Open to proceed. Finalize your selection by clicking Save New Photo. Employ the missing information filters to address any portrait-related issues you encounter swiftly. Let's remove the No Portrait Photo filter. The Filter by Groups section on the left offers a straightforward and rapid method to locate specific attributes from your imported PSPA file, presenting every possible attribute at a glance. This feature is compatible with both grid and table views. To filter by a specific group, simply click on the group name. For instance, to filter by teacher, click on teacher, and if you wish to include assistant teacher in your view, click on it as well. Should you decide to remove them from your selection, a second click on the group name will deselect it. To focus solely on graduation, clicking on grad will filter accordingly, demonstrating a swift approach to customizing your view. Click on grad once more to remove this filter. Given the variety of potential filters based on your PSPA file, the filter by group edit field at the top allows for a more refined search among available groups. Entering teacher in this field, for example, narrows down how teachers are categorized within the database. Clearing this field reinstates the full range of options, facilitating a comprehensive overview of your data. This video tutorial provided an in-depth exploration of the capabilities within Manage Portraits. For further learning, you'll find additional videos and detailed articles in the knowledge base covering more features.